What's going on with you? Remember, I was trying to tell you it's all about the structures. You find us through the structures, the castles, and, up, and all those type of things, right? All right, check this out right here. You remember how I was explaining the uh, Scottish, the Irish, the French, the, the Germans. These people was black people, says Benjamin Franklin himself. So, when they got expelled out of Europe, where did they go? The easiest way to find out where they went is by what they built. Find what they built. Check this out. Because these structures, you got to pay attention to the columns too. And the, and the structures with the dome above them. And, and it's like, just like in the Bible it says, the earth is, 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 is um, it doesn't move. And it sits on pillars, right? And it's got a dome above it. And it's water above it, right? I believe that that dome that's on top of these buildings represents that. That's just what I think. I mean, I could definitely be wrong, but I see that's used in a lot of the Freemason symbols. So I believe that they're trying to throw it in our face in a sense. But check this. And really just seeing ruins. Clearly there was much more. And we're just seeing what has been preserved after this wipeout event in San Francisco, which they attribute to an earthquake San Francisco. and a fire. And here I really should be resting. An earthquake and a fire sent them out of there, huh? Us, but maybe. But somebody shared a comment right. with me, prompting me to look at Cincinnati, Ohio in 1848. Specifically, some panoramic pictures. And I was really impressed. Now this picture is... Look at that. In 1905. Yeah. But surely... Looking at these panoramic pictures in 1848, when the population was supposed to be around 25,000, this is clearly seeming like a repurposed, recently inherited city. An amazing detail and resolution. Don't it look like and perfectly Britain? mind blowing? Don't look like Scotland. The then and now and really rails in place but streets still a mess and here appears to be a construction crew with their little wagon and wheelbarrow here we might see a little taxi here as well and our cheap signage not matching the ornate architecture look at the very structures. tacky and here we get a little look in 1848. Again, a city of about 25,000 people. And here we see a cathedral and some towering, perhaps apartment buildings. Look like Duke right in there. The background. And what looks like old mining operations. Not sure. UNC. Some tech up here on the mountain, and here again, in 1848, and we've often talked about whited out skies, and it seems like this sky has clearly been whited out, clearly cut with a pair of scissors, cropping around this tree, mm. and perhaps concealing something, and over Always. here, more examples of this cropping and here we can have a look at the whole they panoramic picture and I had a hard time getting that photo to load and here's one picture I'm having a very difficult time loading those buildings look the better than the stuff we're making right now and that's from Still the 1848 which we know means at least 1600 a lot of spires in the background poking up here yeah. Look at the structure. And again, I want to remind you that in 1830, the population is 24,000. Suddenly, there's a boom, a boom of Irish and Germans oh. in the late 1840s. Oh. And this boom gives us this fully built-out city 
very similar to what we see in San Francisco, the young city that's supposed to start out in 1849, suddenly booming to what looks like a million person city. No, it's just us coming back into and Egypt on cargo slave ships. 25,000 to 100,000. We still look the same way. Everything looking like an absolute mess. And then look at this. I mean, this looks like a power plant in the background. Technology. This is the image I've been looking for, but this is a poor resolution. For some reason, not loading. I'm gonna get the back with y'all.